in um, Thika, in Nakuru, in Eldoret, in Busia, as a first phase. And it is our expectation that companies like Square will find the reason because we are providing incentives for investment in these uh, special economic spaces for them to work with private sector companies from elsewhere globally to establish their operations, their manufacturing capacities and capabilities uh, in Kenya. This uh, facility here at Athi River, I already gave uh, very clear instructions to the management here of EPZ that all speculators, people who have held uh, titles to pieces of land here for 10, 15, 20, 30 years without developing them should be revoked so that we can give it to people who want to use this facility. I am informed that we now have an extra 200, 250 acres of land that were originally occupied by speculators. They are now out of this place and we can bring additional pieces of land, additional space into the manufacturing uh, space here in EPZ at the river. We have now been uh, cleared by the courts on the land that is adjacent to EPZ that belong to um, uh, Portland Cement. My instructions are we will take either 1,000 or 1,500 of that land and make it part of EPZ here in the river. So that we can create more space for more companies to set camp in Kenya, in the river, and give ourselves an opportunity to manufacture more products, pharmaceuticals, furniture, steel, cement, and all other uh, facilities that are necessary for us to manufacture locally as we expand our exports, because that is what is critical to us as a country. As we target manufacturing, even of pharmaceuticals, we must also look at the market beyond Kenya. I encourage Square and all the other pharmaceutical companies and all the other companies set up in, setting up camp in Kenya to look at the opportunity that exists in the East African community, where we have close to 400 million people and to look at the opportunity we have in Comesa, and to look at the combined opportunity between Comesa, SADC, and ESC, and look up further into the Africa continental free trade area because we have huge space, we have a big market, and there is big opportunity for companies that set up camp in Kenya to access those markets. We have made sure that our policies, our programs are aligned to make sure that uh, we give opportunity to um, our manufacturers, our investors to access uh, those markets.